thick rabbit right here and in the chaos corner. Anyway, just going to try and build a shelf here, custom shelf so it would fit underneath the, the TV. And um, I got some scrap lumber left over. It's a bit pity because it's actually quite good lumber. But I don't know if you can see, but it's really twisted. So that's why I'm calling it a bit. These other two impregnated bits are actually very good. I'll just try and avoid using them. So, anyway, this is going to be one of the side parts of just to be able to straighten these twisted bits out and screw them to uh, this one. And over time, they will straighten out. I mean, you won't get the the, the slight bonus here out of the wood. You get that twist where they pretty much disappear. I don't know, we just go and build the other one.
Okay, 40 centimeters. Okay, established 30 centimeters for most of my stuff that I'm going to put in here. It's going to be the circular saw and the grinder, bench grinder thing. And I can actually fit them underneath on the lower, lower shelf. And then this will be just for it. It will probably carry some boxes or something. But I won't make the next shelf as high. Side bits done. That easy to show, it's not much space. Here's the first one and the second one on the left hand side. I don't think the camera is picking up. Looks pretty much the same, and um, the twist is starting to disappear. So we'll see tomorrow, or in my time, it'll be tomorrow to uh, 
see if they'll be even more straight. So, anyway, here's the junk wood pile for that. I just think they're using this white stuff for the shells, I mean, it's got muddy. else wrong with it, so I'm going to try measurable, crappy, uh, best tool sander on it, and just to get an idea of does it even make a scratch. I mean, I'm not going to spend a lot of time sanding this stuff. I would just stand back to be able to test it. This is the absolute worst plank that I have. The other, other three are much cleaner. Boards are done. So, um, I actually have the tools in the wrong order, but if I started with the belt sander, I burned two belts. Really. And then I'll call it up with the smaller sander. I had a couple of clamps to help me. And then I put some undercoat oil on them to give them a basic protection. So that will just soak in. And I'm not going to paint these or anything. So it's good to get a little bit extra. And then it makes, it increases the, um, the humidity of the, um, of the board. So, then, um, so some of them are a bit twisted. So that will deal with them by putting the shaft together. And then, um, and then when you put this stuff in, then they usually they, you can adjust them into place. So anyway, now it's to... Um, yeah, you can see the difference. So here's a bit of raw. I'm going to cut this end off. And then we're able to um, move to that. And this helps. That's it. It's good enough for, for shells. Oh, and I got all the boards cut up to one meter length. So now I'm starting to make the holes for the screws. I thought I'd do it like that. Two screws at the end. And um, pre-drill count to sink. Oh, let's see how that'll work. So oh, that's the bottom shelf in. It's a bit of a misfit, but not that bad. And um, it's actually very stable already, so this is going to be interesting when trying to straighten that out. Yeah, I got some tools out of the way. Oh, that's the bottom level, I'll just hold some more heavier and hold taller tools or uh. oh yeah that's the second shelf in place and the twisted ends are getting more straight as one continues up so when I get the rest of the shelves in then I'll 
won't be hard to pull it together a bit. Yeah. Oh, that's the third shelf in place. Oh, I'll probably reorganize it several times. At least getting more of the stuff out of the boxes. So we we'll just have to build two more layers. And they're lost up. Fit with the TV, so. Okay, that's the shelf done. Oh, your last top and everything. Oh, I think it worked out okay. Got a little bit more work to do to level it. So I thought the floor is not that straight in this cabin. Yeah, I think that'll do. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Uh, hit the bell icon if you want to see more content. I'll probably do a few more of these. I'll see you in the next one.